Well, Stuart, that was a long and tough one, but you did fight well. What did you make of your performance? Uh, not the best, to be honest. From from where go, it was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I think I dragged Barry down. I think in the first half of the match a little bit, um, and the match just went scrappy. Both of us were really struggling. Um, I just thought, just try and the only way I'm going to get close or maybe win it is just grind it out um, in the end because I was struggling that much. Um, made a bit of a match of it in the end, but I think that was down to Barry uh, unperforming as well. So it did look difficult. It looked grueling. How did it feel? Are you tired after it? Uh, worn out now, to be honest. Yeah, um, there's so much effort put in just to try and sort of find something um, from where go. Like I said, um, it just didn't happen. And then you know you've got to you've got to try double double hard um, when it's not happening um, out there, and it's tough. It's really tough. Was it Barry's experience that won out in the end? Um, I, I wouldn't say that really. Um, I think just I made a couple of mistakes towards the end. I thought at seven six it was it was anybody's because we was both struggling a little bit. To be fair. Um, I wouldn't say experience told, to be fair, it was just, just mistakes from me in the end. Was it nice to be back at the Crucible though? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always good to be back here. Um, it's been a bit of an up and down season, so to finish uh, on a reasonable high qualifying here, yeah, it's great. What do you think you need to do then to get past this hurdle, this, this first round here? Uh, play better. <laughs> Simple as that, really. Um, to be honest, in the qualifiers, I never played brilliant. I sort of played well when I needed to, um, but sort of three quarters of each match, I never sort of played that great. It wasn't sort of free flowing snooker. I wasn't in control all the time, sort of thing. So to come through three of them took a lot out of me, to be fair. And, and this was similar, to be, to be honest. So what's in your mind now? You go back. What do you do? How do you prepare better? Um, I'll just probably have a few weeks off now, uh, then back on the practice table, and just and we go again. Um, I don't know when it starts again. I think first of July, second of July. So. A little bit of time off and uh, and just work harder, yeah. Okay, thank you. That's Thanks. my questions. Anyone else? I know you probably don't care, Stuart, but who do you think is the favourite now? Obviously, there are a few names that have gone Um To be honest, I think it's wide open. Um, obviously, Ronnie came good second session. I think everybody, as long as Ronnie's in the tournament, it's, he's sort of uh, the the mark everyone's got to sort of play to. But um, i have not, to be honest, I've not really seen much other than my own match, so um, it, it's going to be tough for everyone. Are you one of those players even when you've been knocked out and you just sort of don't want to think about the tournament or do you sort of watch the final? Um, I'll watch bits if I'm sort of uh, I'm doing nothing. But yeah, I won't sort of I won't follow it now as, as much as what I would have done. Okay. Right, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.